Today's video is brought to you by Snapdragon. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and CES 2026 here in Las Vegas has come to a close and a lot of great announcements, but one in particular that really piqued my interest is from Snapdragon. Yes, we're talking about the Snapdragon X2 Plus, which was announced here at the show, X2 Elite, which we already know about, and then of course the X2 Elite Extreme for the extreme performance that would expect from this high-end processor. In fact, we looked at Asus and they had the only one available, which is of course the Asus ZenBook A16 with that lightweight seroluminum material that it's using and of course with the snapdragon x2 elite extreme now i can't give you any bench numbers just yet but we did have a little bit of a preview here at the show and i've teamed up with snapdragon to give you a preview of what to expect with these brand new chipsets here for 2026 Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Snapdragon X2 Plus, along with the X2 Elite and the X2 Elite Extreme, here for 2026, coming up. Now, I've been using this. This is the HP Omnibook Ultra, and this is a 14-inch Ultra Portable in a forged anodized aluminum design that is simply premium, simply superb. I've been loving this device, and it's running the Snapdragon X2 Elite processor. That has been amazing for both single and multi-core performance, an improvement in terms of compatibility, improved graphics, everything we wanted to see, we are seeing in this next evolution of Snapdragon, and it looks really good. And obviously, in addition to the X2 Elite, we're also talking about the X2 Plus processor, which in its own right is a nice, really gain year over year, gen over gen, over the X1 Plus, right? So the X Plus that we saw last year, we're now seeing major gains in that department as well. All right, let's talk performance here in the Snapdragon X2 Plus doesn't disappoint, at least that's what they're claiming here. The Snapdragon X2 Plus delivers four and a half times faster performance in terms of single core versus the competition. Now the competitor's single core peak performance requires 4.6 times more power. So that gives you a good idea of what to expect. Now the Snapdragon X2 Plus with its 10 cores delivers 3.1 times faster CPU multi-core performance versus the competition. Now, the competitor peak performance in terms of multi-core requires 4.4 times more power than the Snapdragon X2 Plus with its 10 cores and delivers up to 52% faster CPU peak performance versus the competition. Now, the Snapdragon X2 Plus 10 core delivers up to 35% faster single core performance versus the previous gen and uh, requires up to 43% less power than the previous gen. Now, the Snapdragon X2 10 core delivers up to 29% faster GPU performance than the previous gen and delivers up to 78% faster NPU performance versus the previous gen. And finally, the Snapdragon X2 10 core delivers 6.4 times faster AI performance versus the competitors. Now, when it comes to performance, we're looking at great multitasking ability with the new Snapdragon X2 Plus or even the X2 Elite on this, which is the higher end. But even the X2 Plus that they showed had some excellent single core and multi-core performance in some of the synthetic benchmarks like Geekbench 6 or Cinebench 2024. And as you can see, the numbers are pretty amazing, right? So with support with up to 80 tops on the top of the line there, uh, you're going to be able to do not only multitasking, but AI workloads. And that has been pretty great. And they showed off plenty of hardware from their partners with this brand new chipset. In fact, we saw one, only one actually, for the running the Snapdragon X2 Elite Extreme. And that's the ZenBook A16 from Asus. It is an 18 core processor, has a 65 watt TDP, and it features a 16 inch 3K 120 Hertz OLED display and weighs just a measly 1.2 kilograms. And that is super lightweight. Remember, it's covered in that seraluminum, which is a lightweight but durable material that they've been touting. I also got a look at the ZenBook A14, a 14 inch variant of that, also with the seraluminum finish, under a kilogram in terms of the weight. So it's really lightweight and it's powered by the Snapdragon X2 Elite. So you're gonna get that premium top tier performance in both single and multi-core. And it has a claimed battery life of over, get this, 
33 hours. And I was also impressed with the ProArt PZ14, and that, of course, is running the Snapdragon X2 Elite with the 18 cores, and it has a 14-inch 3K 144Hz OLED display in that surface-like form factor, so that is really good for those that want a hybrid device. And we saw the VivoBook S14, the S15, and the X16 running the Snapdragon X2 Elite, also providing value, but not sacrificing performance. Now, as far as HP, I actually have one of them right here. This is the HP Omnibook 14 with its 14 inch 3K OLED display, 120 Hertz, absolutely gorgeous, touchscreen, everything you'd want in a display and then some. And it has this really premium forged anodized aluminum design in terms of the materials used. It is premium, it is thin, it is light, it is super high end. And we are talking about a starting price of about $1,550 later this month. I will hopefully get a full review of this very soon. I've got 64 gigabytes of memory. It has a Snapdragon X2 Elite on this, the 88100. And I gotta tell you, without giving you benchmark numbers, I am blown away. That's how good this is. And they also showed off the Elite Book X G2Q. This is a business focused laptop, which is configurable in either a 12 or an 18 core, running the Snapdragon X2 Elite. And that one looks really good as well. And Lenovo announced a brand new Yoga Slim 7X, and this thing blew me away. And this is running a 2.8K OLED display. It also has the 18 core Snapdragon X2 Elite, and it's coming sometime Q2 2026, and it's gonna be with a starting price of under $1,000, looking at around $950. So that is one I am looking forward to as well. So stay tuned as I will start getting these units in for review as the year progresses. As soon as these are available, I will get review units and I will bring you a full review. We're looking forward to testing out the Snapdragon X2 Elite, the X2 Elite Extreme, and of course this brand new Snapdragon X2 Plus processors. Everything you'd expected from it in terms of an improvement has been done here by Snapdragon. I wanna thank Snapdragon for partnering on this video and for sponsoring today's video and for inviting me to check out what they have to offer for 2026. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. And if you are a casual viewer of my content, why not consider subscribing? It costs you nothing and it helps support the channel as we're making our big push for 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Half a million. I can't believe I've even been saying that. That's pretty amazing. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.